It's common for building administrators and test coordinators to track how well students are performing using the Smarter Online Reporting System in the DESA app. While that feature reports current proficiency levels and the percentage of students' work that has been scored, it cannot be used to monitor Smarter test progress. Remember, the Smarter window spans several months. But once students begin, they only have 45 calendar days to complete the CAT and 20 calendar days for the performance task. Note that the student window is in calendar days, so days when students are not present count. Weekends, days off, and even spring break count against a student's completion window. Tests that are not completed within the given time frame will expire. following podcast will walk you through the steps of accessing the reports needed to monitor smarter test progress of all your students. The key is to check completion status on a consistent and regular basis. Daily is advisable. Log into IMS. Go to the DESA DCAS app. Go to Smarter ELA and Mathematics. And instead of going to the online reporting system, we need to go into TIDE. Inside TIDE, let's go to the Monitoring Test Window drop-down and select Test Completion Rates. My screen may be a little different than what you see. You should only be able to see your building's information. So I'm going to select Carcroft. want to make sure that the test drop-down is selected to Smarter Summative. Administration is the correct date, and for this report, I'm going to go ahead and leave it as all. Notice that I could go in and drill down on a specific test. In this case, I'm going to do all grades, which would be third, fourth, and fifth, math and ELA. Click Export Report. I get a pop-up. Click Yes. So let's take a look at this report. Column A is simply the date that I pulled the report and the last time that the system synced. The actual test name, the fact that it's the Smarter, it's the Spring Administration, District, Building, Institution Number, Opportunity. Here's the part that we're looking for. Total number of students, total students that have started, total students that have completed, what percent have started, what percent have completed. So quite a bit of data. I'm going to get rid of a few of these columns. Just going to hide them. We know it's a summative. We know it's spring, Brandywine, Carcroft. Um, so I'm just going to hide all this information. Then I'm going to organize it just a little. Notice I've got my third grade data my fourth grade data and my fifth grade data. I'm just going to put a, a row in to separate that data out, make it a little easier to see. So I've got third grade CAT for ELA, performance task for ELA, CAT for math, performance task for math. So looking over here, it looks like we're in great shape. Almost 99% have started the CAT in third grade ELA, and about 97.5% have completed it. If we look at the performance task, we see similar numbers, same with math. And looking at fourth grade, I can tell they haven't even started testing yet. Fifth grade has started in ELA, but they haven't started yet in math. So there's some good information on this report. Remember that if you have students who have opted out, they're factored into the total student number uh, because that number is pulled from eSchool. So your percentages may not equal 100, but that's where you have to rely on that test coordinator. While this is good information, what it's not telling me is the students that have not completed yet. So that 2.5% uh, here that have not completed are they nearing the expiration of their test window? And to find that out, we'll have to go to another report. To find individual student information, I'm going to close out of Excel, go back into TIDE, go back to Monitor Test Progress, 
and this time select Plan and Manage Testing. Set the drop downs. This time I want to look specifically at my third grade ELA computer adaptive test. Third graders, Carcroft. And in the final section, I want to make sure I select students who have not completed their first opportunity. And I'm going to click Export Report. The spreadsheet shows that we have two students in third grade who have not completed the test. Patricia Offenhauser and James Webster. Expand some of these and see that James started the assessment on March 16th and his last activity was on March 21st. His expiration date is April 30th. So I know that I've got to catch up with James immediately following spring break and make sure that he completes that test before it expires on the 30th. And then there's Patricia. Why isn't there any data on Patricia? Patricia's parents had submitted an opt-out request, and that's why no information is recorded. An example of why 100% completion rate may not be possible on that previous report. So there it is. There's how to check smarter test progress easily. Several reports available. Please make sure, again, you do it on a frequent and consistent basis.